You people know, right? We do a lot of gaming PC build videos on the channel. Almost every week, you get to see something interesting. Lately, I've been getting a lot of comments from you people, audience, asking like, Vimal Bhai, can you make like a separate video, more like a tutorial on what exactly to do after building a PC? Now, that is a very interesting question. I'll have to hand it over to you. So, thing is, guys, building your PC is only like 50% of the job, but actually setting it up and optimizing it to give best possible results is the main actual task. Even if you spend like lakhs of amount of rupee, right, your PC doesn't perform at its optimal settings out of the box. You'll have to do some tuning adjustments to give you best results. And in this video, I've actually made like an ultimate setup guide, 10 step process. Just follow my steps, step one to step 10 and watch this video till the end. And you will be able to make your brand new PC run like muska guys. It's going to be a very interesting video. And before you get started, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel guys. Hit that notifications bell icon so you can watch these videos as quickly as I post them. Step number one. Okay, you're finally done building your brand new PC. You've connected all the cables and is all good to go. So thing is, even if you power on your PC, right, by boot nahi hoga, it'll directly go into the motherboard BIOS. And the main reason for that is you didn't install operating system. So step number one is installing Windows operating system. Or you can even go for Linux. Who is stopping you? It's all up to you. So there are a couple of ways you can install operating system. Now I'm not talking about the ways you are thinking. You can actually download like free trial from Microsoft website only or you can even purchase Microsoft Windows operating system lots of e-commerce websites are available guys from where you can download I'll leave that part up to you instead of a PC if you have like a brand new gaming laptop well and good because your laptop comes pre-installed with like Windows out of the box and is also like pre-activated so there's nothing you need to do over here but if you're still unsure how to install operating system especially like Windows on your PC or you want me to make like a separate tutorial on how to make like a, a bootable pen drive with Windows on it let me know I can definitely do that. That can also actually help a lot of people. Let me know in the comment section down below. Step number two. You finally installed Windows 11 on your PC and it actually booted and is all set up. The second thing you'll need to do is install drivers for your motherboard. You might actually see that as soon as you boot up, right, the whole resolution, everything doesn't match up with your actual monitor settings. And that is because you don't have any sort of drivers on your PC. So there are actually a couple of ways here also. Previously, until a couple of years ago, motherboards used to come with like CDs, guys. And that time we used to have like DVD drives in our PC, right? We used to simply insert that CD in our PC and install drivers like on the go. Nowadays, we don't have DVD drives only. I personally haven't used a DVD drive in the last five years, guys. Okay, any of you people actually have a DVD drive on your system in 2023? Let me know. Second option you can go for is, which is actually the best one, I would say, is to simply search for motherboard drivers on that particular website only. For example, if you have say Asus motherboard or say Gigabyte motherboard, simply search up for that particular model and go to their support website system. There you will definitely see all the list of compatible drivers for your motherboard model. Simply download all of them from there and install one by one. And that is pretty much it. This is how you can easily install all your motherboard drivers. This includes even your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers as well. Coming to step number three. Now that you have finally installed all the basic drivers like Wi-Fi driver, Bluetooth driver, audio driver, few basic things you might still miss is your resolution of the monitor might not be matching the actual proper resolution. And the main reason for that is you still haven't installed the CPU drivers and GPU drivers. So first of all, you need to download chipset drivers as well. For example, if you have like an AMD system, right? You'll need to download these AMD chipset drivers either from the motherboard's website or even from the AMD website directly. It's all up to you. Same is the case for Intel as well, guys. So first install these chipset drivers. And after that, you will need to install your graphic card drivers. If you have like an NVIDIA system, simply download NVIDIA GeForce Experience and log in with your Google account and it will automatically download the compatible latest driver for the graphic card. If you have an AMD graphic card, simply download Radeon Software Experience and that will also do the same thing. It will download the latest compatible driver for your AMD GPU. And that is it. Now you should get your video resolution solution proper on your monitor. Moving on to step number four. We're going in a good progress and you might actually think start improving, right? The whole resolution, the whole performance of the system. Now what you need to do is update your BIOS driver, guys. This is also very essential. A lot of people actually don't do BIOS update drivers only. Thing is, when you buy a brand new motherboard, right? It comes with factory BIOS and you know, that is something that comes at a very initial state, guys. And motherboard manufacturers keep releasing BIOS update drivers for your motherboards very frequently, like for every few months, right? And they improve a lot of things and these can actually improve 
improve your system performance especially like cpu performance gpu performance agesa performance improvements and lot of other stuff so updating your bios from time to time is also like very crucial updating bios is also super simple you'll find all the bios update files in motherboard's manufacturer website only just go to the support system of your particular model click on the bios section and there you go bingo you can already see all the new latest updates so before updating you people need to check what's your current bios on your motherboard and based on that you'll need to install a newer version on your bios if you people want like a detailed video on how to update your motherboard bios also i can actually do that in a separate video if i include that over here it's gonna be like super lengthy and i don't want to do that so this also you can let me know in the comment section down below hey we're almost 50 percent done coming to step number five now that you're finally done with the driver's installation, BIOS update is also done, right? Things might start looking on the better side. You'll definitely see lots of improvements. Now what you need to do in this particular step is open settings on your PC and go to the app section. Here, scan out all the apps in that particular list and see if any sort of unnecessary apps are installed on your system. Usually a lot of gaming laptops or, you know, pre-built PCs come with lots of unnecessary apps and games installed on them. This is something you might call as bloatware. Go through the complete list of apps over here here and try to remove and uninstall any sort of unnecessary apps or games on your system guys because without your knowledge they keep hogging up the ram and memory in the background and slow up your system moving on to step number six now that we have removed all sorts of unnecessary apps and cleaned the bloatware system out of your windows operating system now is the time to finally start tuning your system step by step so first of all first thing you'll need to do is tune your RAM guys because by default your RAM doesn't run at its best possible settings and because of that you might be facing lots of limitations in your performance. So what you need to do is simply head over to your BIOS guys and depending on the type of RAM that you're using you get two types of RAM that support either Intel XMP profiles or AMD Expo profile depends on the platform that you're using. Go to your BIOS settings and click on the OC profile for your RAM. Here, from default or normal, you'll need to switch it to the OC clock profiles. As I've told you, if you have Intel XMP profile, select that or AMD Expo profile depending on your system. Say, suppose you have a RAM that is clocked at 5200 MHz and with all the clock latencies, right? By default, it might be running somewhere around like 3200 or maybe like 3600 MHz. Now that you have enabled your OC profile, right? Now your RAM will fully function at its maximum clock speeds, which is 5200 or 5600, depending on the model that you have and you can definitely see huge improvement in the gaming guys keeping the ram part aside same applies for your gpu and cpu also for example if you have a gaming laptop right each and every gaming laptop comes with their own gpu settings for example if you take rog laptops right rog has something known as armory crate simply open that software and go to your system profile section here you can see lots of variants for example balanced mode is there battery saving mode is available performance mode will be there turbo profile you can choose any of these modes depending on the current scenario if you want the best possible results always go for like best performance mode either it be performance or turbo similarly in the case of pc also you simply need to go to the settings and here in the power balance settings right change the profile from balanced mode to best performance mode and also guys lots of aftermarket gpus come with their own software versions for example if you have a inno 3d card or maybe like gigabyte card right you can simply head over to their manufacturer website there you can download that compatible software and each software will give you similar settings for your gpu where you can completely tune your gpu you can overclock it you can adjust the performance wattage settings and lots of things so by doing this you can unlock maximum potential out of your gpu same is the case for again cpu also for example if you have an amd cpu right you can download a software something known as ryzen master control and using ryzen master control you can apply variety of plans like best performance profiles and different system profiles as per your requirements and for intel i think they have something known as extreme tuning utility so what i was talking about till now was like an easy way for all the beginners and amateurs to easily overclock your system if you are looking for a professional way right i can teach you how to even manually overclock your cpu as well by adjusting the voltage levels offset bias and also changing overclock settings right you can get even better results also that is more like a trial and error method and takes a bit of time but if you people are interested in these sort of tutorials as well let me know and i can actually teach you how to overclock your system manually five six yeah step number seven 
so up until now you people were tuning the inside configuration of your system now it's actually time to you know give some creativity and add a bit of nice personalization to your windows home screen so this i'll leave this up to you guys you can apply lots of things you can change wallpapers download more or you can even apply like live wallpapers like how i have done on my system there are plenty of softwares available either at microsoft store or you can even download third party wallpaper apps also plenty of services are available i'll leave this part up to you you people can also share your favorite wallpapers or any sort of services that you use and it might be helpful for other people out there in the comment section down below so now that we are completely done setting up your pc and optimizing it for best possible results what is your purpose of building a PC guys? Like why did you actually plan to buy or build a PC? Do you want to use it for gaming purpose, streaming purpose or are you into productivity and creativity and you do a bit of video editing, photo editing? What is your actual purpose and application? And based on that, you will need to download compatible apps. For example, if you're a gamer, you want to play like brand new games out there on your new system, right? Simply download all the game clients. You have so many game clients available like Epic Game Store is available, Steam is available and maybe like Xbox live app is also there so depending on your game that you're looking for you can download these game clients buy any game title that you're looking for and you can start gaming if you're a streamer you can download a couple of streaming related apps as well like obs is there and other stuff and maybe if you are like a producer or maybe like you're in the productivity side you do a bit of video editing then you can download uh, some video editing apps like adobe apps premiere pro is there adobe photoshop and you know lightroom and all of these stuff so based on your requirements and purpose purpose of your PC, download all the compatible apps and get started with your work. So step nine is also basically that only like I've told you right install all the compatible and uh, related applications that you're looking for and one thing I do have to mention over here is give you like a heads up if you're into gaming right and if you're downloading a couple of games you might need to download additional software for example your brand new PC doesn't have uh, DirectX files or maybe like you know uh, redistribution files so some games might not actually work sometimes in rare cases games won't boot also so main reason for that is this third party thing so there is nothing else left to do we've already done what we wanted to do to get the best possible results so all i would say is just go out there sit on your brand new setup and enjoy it to your heart's content that is what i would give you like a final advice Hold it right there boys before we actually wrap up this video there is something I want to quickly show you that has just arrived. So this is like a glimpse at what is upcoming on our channel and ta -ta -da, our very first RTX 4070 in white color that too from Inno 3D. I think this is our very first RTX 40 series card in white color. There's a special reason why I bought this card. I'm planning like a wild video content guys something you might have not even expected. So stay tuned for that I don't want to open it right now we will be doing that in the second video which i'll be promising so that is pretty much it this is what i wanted to share with you all in this video if you all enjoyed watching this content make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one